right, hello economic students, we've got an automatic stabilizer question here. Here's the question. You can read, pause it, and work out where are the marks in this question. So we're four marks. Pretty standard question. So it's about how automatic stabilizers work in a downturn to smooth out the business cycle. It's pretty much straight from the dot uh, from the dot point from the study design. Okay, so the first mark is for demonstrating an understanding of how uh, of what a downturn is. It's really important in automatic stabilizers questions. Uh, automatic stabilizer questions. What's the conditions in the economy? Because that will dictate what automatic stabilizers actually do. And also you want to just demonstrate quickly what automatic stabilizers are as opposed to perhaps structural and cyclical stabilizers, oh, sorry, structural and discretionary stabilizers. The next mark is for outlining how taxes collected work. Now note here that it says automatic stabilizers, plural, there are two stabilizers you should be talking about in this question. And there really is only two. There's taxes collected and welfare paid. Probably could talk a about a, um, a couple of different taxes collected. I think the simplest one is income tax. So you do those two, you outline how they work during a downturn and you then link it all back to the business cycle. Now, remember this is an explained question. So we've got a cause, demonstrating the cause and which is automatic stabilizers and how they work during a downturn. And you've got to link that to the effect on the business cycle. Okay, so here's an outline for an answer which is correct, but doesn't have enough detail. And you pause and think about how you can improve this answer. It says, during a downturn, automatic stabilizers work without government intervention. It decreases taxes collected and increases welfare paid and overall decreases leakages and injections. Okay, so first of all, I haven't said what a downturn is, have I? I told you that it's really important to set the scene. So I'm gonna add in here a little bit about so automatic stabilizers work without government intervention to smooth out the business cycle. And then the second sentence is really like a downturn means what? Well, it means unemployment levels are rising. That's important. People aren't going to have as many jobs or there's not as many jobs in the economy, more people without a job. Incomes are falling. If people lose their job, their income falls. Um, it also means that the total level of spending in the economy is decreasing. Okay, we've set the scene. That's what's going on in the economy. Now let's show the examiner how the automatic stabilizers actually work. Well, yeah, they do decrease taxes collected, but how? Well, as incomes drop and unemployment rises and some employees move from full-time to part-time. Now this is a little bit of a stretch. I don't know if you'll be able to get this in, but try if you can, because during a really bad downturn, like the global financial crisis, for instance, instead of just kicking st or, or COVID, right? Instead of just kicking employees out of the business altogether and just saying, see you later, when they've spent lots of money training them and getting to know them, what they can do to sort of um, stabilize their, their cash flows or to, to like make sure they stay um, alive is they can just get their staff to move from full-time to part-time. It's good for the staff because they can't get full-time jobs in a bad economy and it's good for the business. But what it does is decrease their incomes. Okay, and that's what we need to set up for the automatic stabilizers. So then what happens is because you're earning less income, you're paying less tax. Remember how a regressive tax system works in Australia. The more you earn, the more you pay as a proportion or a percentage of your income. So when you go the other way, you're paying less as a percentage of your income. So automatically the budget takes less tax out of the economy. Okay. And that means the government's collecting less in revenues. The other stabilizer, remember there's two because this question says stabilizers, is the welfare paid by the government. But why? Why is there an increase in welfare paid? I think we should already know this just by reading some of these sentences. But as the unemployment rate increases, more individuals will qualify for welfare payments, a job seeker, which is literally a payment to say, if you're seeking a job, if you're unemployed, here's some money, uh, which will increase government expenditure. Overall, this decreases leakages and injections, although welfare is not technically an injection, but it eventually will get injected into the economy. We're going to bring it back to the business cycle. So this will work to slow the drop in AD and the budget will move towards surplus, okay, from deficit towards surplus when revenues are greater than expenses. Now, really key point here, it does not stimulate the economy. A lot of students make this mistake. They say the budget works automatically. Ta-da, the economy is fixed. No, 
the scratch free stabilizers have to do that work. It will just slow the drop in AD. Remember, people have moved from full time to part time. It's a really bad economy. People have lost their jobs, or maybe it's not, maybe it's just a downturn. People have lost their jobs and they're now getting welfare payments. That's not going to stimulate AD. Okay, so it'll just slow the drop or smooth the business cycle. All right, and finally, what other questions could I ask you? There's not a lot that I could do. First, I can change downturn to expansion. Or rather than telling you it's a downturn or expansion, I could just get you to look at some data. Like here's some economic data, unemployment rate, wages, um, what else? Uh, underemployment rates, uh, GDP. And then you have to work out how the automatic stabilizers will work given that set of data. The way you answer will be very much the same. Maybe an extra mark for referencing the data. Okay, hopefully that helped um, answer automatic stabilizer questions.